Hi, it's Chrissy Key Rollins here bringing you this week's recap of the 1099 Ladies Online Networking Meeting, where the focus was on overcoming imposter syndrome. So here are the highlights from tonight's discussion. One of the things that we quickly identified is that imposter syndrome, that feeling like, who am I to be doing the work that I'm doing in this world? Who am I to be showing myself the way that I'm showing myself and representing myself in my business. Um, one of the things that we identified is that this is something that plagues people, especially early on in the entrepreneurial in endeavors and in entrepreneurial experience, but it's not necessarily isolated to when you're just beginning and starting to be new in business. But if you know that going into business, that these feelings of who am I or feeling kind of fraudulent or like you're representing yourself as more successful than you, than you currently feel like you are, um, just know that that's part of the experience and part of what comes with the territory. And as you feel that come up, start to note where it's coming from. One of the places that we identified is that when we start to compare ourselves to others, the imposter syndrome starts to ramp up. And oftentimes we're comparing ourselves to others that we either don't know the full story around or that are further on in their career than we are. So they're more seasoned, they're more experienced, they have a little bit more confidence and we see the way that they uh, express themselves and we will fall into some kind of comparison that will psych us out of the game. So a uh, good tool to keep in your tool belt is that when you find yourself feeling this imposter syndrome, look to see how, how and if you are comparing yourself to other people, drop your comparison uh, of yourself to other people and allow yourself to get back to what is true and what is authentic for you within yourself. When you connect, reconnect to your passion, to the reason that you got into this to begin with, and you start to see how much experience you have within a particular arena, even if it's one that you haven't fully monetized or spent years monetizing and turning into a business, then you can reconnect to how your authentic true self is actually really equipped and perfectly uh, seasoned and experienced within your own right to move your journey forward. And that is actually one of the other tips that we have for you for tonight. If you're feeling that imposter syndrome coming on, then get into action. Do it. Do it and then stop on the other side and assess. Because if you're judging yourself before you take the action, a lot of times you're going to be in a little bit different place after you actually take the action. So stop telling yourself that you cannot do it. Start telling yourself that you can and take action to prove that uh, you actually you actually got it going on and not as uh, fraudulent or imposter field as, as, as you feel that you are. And uh, last point on this to help to navigate your way and overcome this uh, imposter syndrome, you got to learn to be your own cheerleader. You got to learn how to reset your own mindset, how to realign yourself in order to continue to take that action coming forward and give yourself that, that break or that recognition, whatever it is that you need to pick yourself back up again. Uh, that business journey can be really isolating and lonely, and that's part of the reason why it, we feel it's so important that you connect and you build your network and you link arms with other people that are in the trenches with you. And we invite you to do this every Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. We would love for you to come and enjoy the full conversation and participate in that. You can also catch past meetings as well as past recaps over in the 1099 Ladies Networking Group on Facebook. So hop over there and check that out if you haven't already. There's lots of great women that you can connect with in that group as well. And if you have any additional thoughts or tips to add to this conversation, definitely drop them in the comments below and consider joining us next week and every Tuesday at 7.30 because we would love to connect with you. All right. Thanks for watching this recap and we'll see you again soon. Bye.